Hey guys, it's Olivia Jade. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I am doing my everyday makeup. This is so requested. You guys have been asking what I've been doing for the winter time, how I keep my skin glowy, all these crazy things that y'all want to know. And so I'm here to sit down and film it for you step by step. Super easy. I don't wear foundation and I still feel like I get a very nice, even, full coverage kind of look. So if you guys want to see how I do this, make sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on my little post notifications, and yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I start with is this primer. It's the MAC Strobe Cream Hydrating Primer. This is in the shade Gold Light. And I don't put this all over my face because it is so glowy and gorgeous. I just put it in the spots I really want to highlight and bring light to. So I just put a little of my hand on my finger and I just kind of apply it to my cheeks. On the other side, my nose, just like that. So I brought you guys in a little bit closer so you could see what I'm doing. The first thing I always start with is a tinted moisturizer. I do not use foundation. I actually don't wear makeup every single day, but this is like my weekend go-to look if I'm gonna wear makeup. So this tinted moisturizer is my favorite. It's a Laura Mercier oil-free, and I use the shade Tawny for when I'm tan. I found a trick that I absolutely love doing, so I'm gonna show you. Okay, so I am taking the Morphe E7 brush. You can use any flat top kabuki though. They all work pretty much the same. And this is how I apply my tinted moisturizer. It's still super natural and light coverage, which I love, but I think this just makes it look so even and just gorgeous. And a little bit more full coverage for a tinted moisturizer. If you guys like full coverage, you're not gonna want to use a thin moisturizer like this, but for me, I love it, and it has SPF in it, which is amazing. So, I just take it on my cheeks and apply it. And I literally just blend it out like this. Make sure you take it down your neck, it's key. Also, it happens. Just take a little bit more. So after that, I'm gonna take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. I have been going between this and the Tarte concealer for like the longest time. Right now I'm really into this one. Sometimes I feel like it looks so good and glowy and then other times I'm like my eyes look really dry. So it just depends if I'm taking really good care of my under eyes with eye creams and serums and all that kind of stuff. So I just take this and I kind of go a little bit crazy with it. But I like it because it's not thick so you can go crazy and it doesn't look cakey. So I just drag it like so. I also do it to the other side. Make sure to cut that blemish. And then I just do it where I have like any extra redness or anything I want to cover up. I know you're probably thinking like, okay, you're crazy. You use way too much, but it looks normal. And plus I don't wear foundation, so I like having a little bit of coverage. I take a damp beauty blender and then I just blend this all in. Okay, so after I blend out my concealer, I look pretty even, I feel like for the most part. I still have a little blemish right there. And you guys, this one has been here for days and she will not leave and it's really hard to cover. But I am just gonna cover a little bit of it. And then what I like to do if I ever have a blemish like this that literally will not go away, is I take like a little concealer brush or like a little flat shader brush. This would work really well too. I feel like more people have this type of brush. I'll show you with this one. And I just go around the blemish. I don't ever like touch the actual blemish though. I just blend out around it. Does that make sense? So the coverage still stays directly on it. So that's as good as it's gonna get for that because she's struggling. I'm just gonna blend out the concealer under my eyes and then set it with powder right away. This is the one thing that hasn't changed, my Laura Mercier powder, I use it all the time and I love it. I like applying my powder with a little tapered brush, this one's by BH Cosmetics. They have the best affordable sets on BH Cosmetic for brushes. I also love Morphe. Um, okay, I'm just going to set directly under my eyes. 
I don't bake on an everyday term. Like if I'm going out to an event and I'm doing my own makeup, then I'll bake. But every day I just dust a little under my eyes and then in my T-zone. And then I just kind of like take it all over. And then make sure you hit that spot where you've covered up. Okay, so and now I'm going to move on to my eyebrows. This is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. And I use the shade number four. It has a nice spoolie and then it has like this little angled pencil, you could say. So what I do first is I just brush up my eyebrows. As you can tell, I kind of have thick-ish brows already, so I don't go too crazy. I definitely use a really light hand. And I don't know where my little stand-up mirror went, so I'm using this one. Basically what I do is I just kind of carve out the natural shape, fill in where it's sparse, and then basically just continue filling it in until I'm happy with how it looks. Okay, so after I am done filming, love it. After I'm done filming, I'm gonna take my makeup off and get in my bed and watch TV. So after I am done with my eyebrows, I use my Anastasia Clear Brow Gel and I just brush through my brows. You don't wanna work super hard and then have them move. So that's what I do with my brows. Can you believe it, we're almost done? So bronzer, of course, I use this Laura Mercier Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. I just use it in a dark shade so I can bronze with it. It's in the shade number six. And I usually just take like a fluffy brush. I really like this Morphe M527. And I just like go along my cheekbones. I don't really contour. I just like love looking tan. So I just warm up my face. And then after I am done with that, I go in with this Too Faced Sweetie Pie Radiant Matte Bronzer. I know, another bronzer, but it kind of has like some glow to it. So I just take this on like a smaller brush and I literally just like apply it just to the cheeks. Just like super light. Just gives like a nice little glow. Oh my god, it smells amazing. Then for a little bit of highlight, I use this Ofra highlighter in the shade Rodeo Drive, my hometown. Well, not actually Rodeo Drive. No one lives on Rodeo Drive. So I take a little bit of this highlighter on a little brush. This is super pigmented. Like, super. See that? Like, wow. So I just kind of apply it to the top of my cheekbone. I sometimes put it on the apples of my cheek, but since I have a zit right there, I don't want to highlight the zit. So I'm just going to kind of skip it up. All right, Ofra, chill. I hear people talking and I don't wanna be rude and be like, yo, can you be quiet? But I kinda wanna be rude and say, yo, can you be quiet? Isn't this so pretty? And then I just do it on the tip of my nose, but I like lifting my nose up a little bit, so I just put it a little bit higher than the actual tip. I think a nose, butt nose highlight, so cute. Then I shake my beauty blender. Blend it out a little bit. We're almost done, I promise. Okay, now for eyes. Um, really all I do is take a little bit of like a cream gel brownish color eyeliner. This one's ColourPop, super affordable. What I do with this is I just line my waterline. And then I also take like an angled brush, something like this. And I just take like a matte black shade and I literally just line the tops. This just makes your mascara look a lot better and thicker and your eyelashes look way better, so. And it's super quick. And I don't come all the way in, I just kind of do like the outer half. Another product that hasn't changed, but you guys know I'm obsessed with it, is my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I swear by this mascara. And I just coat 
my upper lashes. I don't do my lower lashes during the daytime because then it can transfer under my eyes when I'm out running errands and I hate that more than anything having like black dots under my eyes where my concealer is supposed to be. So I literally just do the top lashes and what I do with the top lashes is very strategically. I go as deep in the root that I can get it like so far in and then I wiggle it out. You'll see. And if you get a little bit around, it's totally fine. Just let it dry for like 30 seconds and then you can easily wipe it away. Sometimes I do about two coats of this, so let's do the other eye. And then I also just take it towards the end and kind of focus it towards the outer lashes. So it's like a cat eye effect. And you might be thinking, Olivia, you should be a little bit more careful. I think that every morning too, but when you're in a rush, sometimes you just like throw it on and it's totally cool. Just let it dry for like 30 seconds and then you can wipe it off super easily. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just take like literally any brush and just like brush away where the black is. If you have a Q-tip, that's ideal. I'm in my YouTube room, so I don't have a Q-tip on me. Just taking a clean brush, but this works. Ta-da! It's almost everything. And then just to finish off, I use my ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Drop Top. And this is just like a nice little cream and I don't go crazy, I just kind of like do a little bit of color. And then to finish off the whole look, I'm obsessed with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, the long lasting oil free one. Shake it up. So guys, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave me a comment with what other videos y'all wanna see down below, and I'll see you guys next time.